281 one of these first cross shoes. They're two and a half year old August Sean Mules. They've been departed to the White Suffolk Rams on the 10th of the 10th. They're crushed up and ready to go for you. They have beautiful big front paddock sheep there. Plenty of barrel on them and ready to go. Right over the 281 there, beautiful big sheep. I was suggesting price, but I'm sure you'll set me right. Is there 140 or 50? 140. The Associated Agents uh, at which you have held their February annual February sale on Friday. Kevin Lenahan joins me. Kevin, um, still dry, uh, but an improvement in the mutton, lamb and wool market. Uh, you would have been very pleased with today's result. Today's result was excellent, bearing in mind that it is dry, but it's supposed to be dry this time of year. We've presented a very good yarding of sheep which have sold to dearer rates. The quality was excellent throughout, and all the sheep that should have made money made very good money. Yeah, joined up ewes at the start of the sale, just over the $130. You'd be very pleased with that cross produce. Yeah, the cross produce, they were two and a half year olds, and uh, they, they were big lumps of ewes, they sold well. Uh, as I said, instinct showed bloom and quality sold really well. Yeah. Uh, other sheep struggled a bit, but they sold well for their condition. Yeah, just, uh, a couple of genuine lines of um, ewe lambs here today, breeders ewe lambs, uh, yes. and, and um, a lot better level of inquiry for those two. Put up very well, big joint of ewe lambs, good inquiry, sold very well. Yeah, uh, up around $130. Uh, I think the top's made over $140, those James ewes. Yeah. Uh, that was excellent. Yeah, turned onto the merino ewes, and you had an outstanding run of um, Woomera Downs ewes here today. Woomera Downs ewes stood up very, very well. They were well advertised, a feature line. Uh, you go a long way to find ewes present any better, and they sold extremely well. Yeah, good inquiry from a, a number of areas, that, uh, and uh, it was good to see them kept in their in their lots and not broken yes, up. Yes, they sold very well and went in one line. 706 ewes in that condition take a lot of food. $156 for the tops of those. Uh, but would that be a, a good 15 or 20 dearer than what we've seen? It's certainly 15 better than the previous uh, offerings, but um, we're getting closer to a break, and to get those quality of sheep is very hard. Yeah. When we got into the uh, the uh, joined older older ewes, um, and it was interesting there that uh, a lot of them good framed ewes uh, in the uh, 65 to uh, 85, 90 dollar range. Yeah, look, I was delighted with the old ewe inquiry right through. It's held up, um, and when you're getting sour mouth ewes that are uh, scanned in lamb, a lot of those ewes have very good scanning percentages. And if you've got the feed, you're going to get a lot of lambs. And for, for that $70 to $75 mark, can't go wrong. Yeah, bit of process, uh, uh, inquiry poking in at the bottom there. We're assisting you in putting a floor in the market on the improved rates. We had good inquiry right through. Um, the uh, mutton men uh, were there trying to buy, didn't buy many. But the lamb job, our rat bought uh, a pen of merino lambs, and I thought that was an excellent result. Yeah, basically 55 to $75 for your merino weather lambs, so, uh, and one and a half year olds. One and a half year olds, that covered the, the spread, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a very good result overall.